Hello everyone, thank you very much for clicking and for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is the free game collection. Hope you enjoy it, hope you stay around. If you turn subscribe out, welcome back. Thank you for joining me once again. And I have got something, it's not different because we've done three of these before last year, but it's the first time we've done one this year. And it is one of the Cash Converter 99p specials. So I've, I've, I did, like I said, did a couple of these videos last year. Um, from what I can gather from, from the comments that people gave back on those ones. Um, cash converters seem completely different up and down the country. Some are really expensive, some are a lot cheaper. Mine seems to be nicely in the middle, um, but they do these 99p sales every now and then. Um, I don't know if it's an actual sale. It looks more like a member of staff just wakes up one morning, sees a big pile of games, goes, you know what? I'm just gonna stick 99p and stick them out on the shelves. So if you're in the right place at the right time in mine, you can get a big bag of 99p. Some of these are less than 99p. Some are 49p, there's just over 20 games here. Um, I picked these up on Tuesday. I haven't managed to go to a car boot at all this week. Um, I'm, I'm struggling at the moment to get out on the weekend, got quite a bit going on. But I picked these up on Tuesday. So I thought, oh, that, that takes care of that. So we're gonna go through this bag, see what it is we wanna keep hold of, see what we need to sell to get our money back to make it free and see if we can turn any of the rest into voucher. So like I say, there's about 20 odd games in here. I'll just start pulling them out and we'll see what we've got. So the first one, we've got 99 pence, The Sims 3. So I, I don't have this on the 3DS. I've got it on the 360. I probably won't keep it because if I am going to play The Sims, I'd probably play The Sims 4 on Xbox One or PS4. So you get a half decent return for that. It, it's got, uh, we've got the manual, decent condition cart. So Sims 3, I'll probably be moving that one on, but for 99p, absolute deal. Next one, there's a couple of these. Just Dance 2015. I do want to try and get all the Just Dance if I can. 49 pence for this one, so not very expensive at all. Um, from what I've learned, the Just Dance is if they've got like 2015, 2016, 2017, they're worth picking up, especially if you can get them for 50p because they tend to go for a couple more quid in CEX. Um, I need to go through all the Just Dances and see which ones I want to keep and which ones I'm moving on. Uh, but Just Dance 2015, I may or may not be keeping it. I need to double check. Same again with this one, Just Dance 2014. This one I think I've got, this one was 99 pence. Um, yeah, I think I've got this one. That front cover looks familiar to me. If I do have it, I'll be moving it on. If I don't, I'll be keeping it. So there's a Just Dance there. There's another one here, so we just plow these ones out. So Just Dance 2017. 99 pence again i need to double check so I really i just want to i just think it'd be nice to have the complete just dance collection because i think just dance 2021 or something like that was the last game ever released on the wii so i would like to have more this is just dance 2017 99p keeping hold of that one here's something different for you so 99 pence x-men origins wolverine i've got this on the 360 i haven't played it it's one of those games on the backlog i really want to play apparently it's a bit more gory than you'd expect it to be and it's a decent game for a movie tie-in um i don't have it on the psp but like i say 99p i think i'll move this one on it's in really nice condition but if i am ever going to play i'm going to play it on the 360 to be honest so yeah may or may not be keeping that one need to have a need to have a think on that one this i was pretty damn chuffed at 49 pence for Wii Party. So I picked up a, I don't have this, so I'll definitely be keeping hold of this. This goes for a decent amount, a, a good couple of quid at CEX. Um, yeah, I picked up a loose case for it earlier in the year, uh, but this one is absolutely complete and in lovely condition. 49p, bargain. That's a good couple of quid in CEX. I'm really, really happy to be picking that one up. This one I'm gonna be keeping as well, Sonic and the Black Knight. Um, trying to get all the Sonic games on the Wii, there aren't that many. Uh, this one I don't have, 99 pence, definitely picking up. I don't know anything about the game, to be honest. Uh, never played it. I think I've seen a review on it once. Uh, but yeah, Sonic and the Black Knight, I'll be keeping hold of that one. What else we got in here? Oh, another one. Just Dance 2016, 49p. Again, do I have it? I don't know. If I need it, I'll keep it. If I don't, I'll move it on. What sort of games we've got? Ellie Goulding, Shakira, Katy Perry, Chris Brown. That gives you an idea of the sort of tunes that are on it. 2016 Just Dance. We'll have to see if I want it or not. Classic is Skyrim on the Xbox One, 99 pence, special edition. I think you get about two pound trade in for this one, a uh, little bit more in a voucher. I obviously do have it in the collection, so that one will be moved on, but not bad to find for 99p. Another Sonic game on the Wii, Sonic and the Secret Rings. This is 99 pence. This one I do have, I have never played it either, so I don't know anything about it. It's in lovely condition, I know that much. Uh, most of these are in really nice condition as well. It looks like someone traded in a load of Wii as well, and that's why the guy obviously just decided to stick 99p and stick them out. But Sonic and the Secret Rings, I do already have that one, so that one will be moving on. This one I don't have. The Legend of Spyro the Eternal Knight. 
for 99 pence. Um, yeah, I'm on the fence as whether I'm keeping this or not. I think I've got this on the Xbox 360. I may be wrong. Um, I've not played it. I haven't really. I've played the remastered Spyro on the uh, Xbox One and obviously back in the day on the PS1s. So I don't think I've ever played another Spyro after that. Um, so I, I may or may not keep that. I'm not entirely sure just yet. I'm not sure what the return is on that, whether it's worth it or not. So Just Dance 2, 99 pence. This one probably wasn't worth picking up. Again, the Just Dance 1, 2, 3 and 4, I think they are. Not really worth picking up for a pound. You, you get less for it. I think I'll make a slight loss on this, but hey, how you can't win them all. I picked it up anyway. Just Dance for 99 pence. This is a good one. 99p. Wii Sports. So obviously you get the cardboard case and you get the normal DVD case. This is the normal DVD case. You get a little bit more in CEX for this one. I obviously have it in cardboard case and as a normal DVD case. So I'll be moving that one on. So that's absolutely fantastic to get. And Red Dead Redemption. Xbox 360 prices are going right up at the moment. Uh, you get a good couple of quid for this at the moment. Uh, used to get, I think they used to sell it for about three quid and I think you get three quid cash for it now. And they're selling it for about five or six, something like that. 99 pence. So I picked that one up. Red Dead Redemption. Good game to be picking up at the moment. We're plowing through this bag. I ain't got too many left here. What have we got here? I'll tell you what, let's do, let's do some more of these, shall we? Just Dance 2018. So that's a later one. 49 pence. Happy days. I really, I don't think I've got this one. This, this case doesn't look for me. I can't remember seeing one with a panda on the front. Uh, here we've got Nicki Minaj, Queen, Shakira, uh, Disney's Moana, Bruno Mars. So yeah, I, I think I, I think I need that one. I think I'll be keeping all that one. 49p, absolute bargain. And I think this is the last one. Just Dance 3, 99p. Don't get much for it at all. Probably be moving that one on. Well, I will be because I know I've got that one. Got another one. Another copy of Wii Sports DVD case, 99 pence. Absolutely fantastic. We sold it for £10 at some point in time. So yeah, that looks like a very old, very faded sticker. I wish they put the years on the stickers at CEX so you knew how old the pricing was. They never have. But yeah, 99 pence for Wii Sports. Fantastic. This is a good one to pick up. Wario Land, the shake dimension, 99p. I've already got this one. If I remember correctly, it has no, yeah, it's got no booklet, but the disc for this, that disc looks fantastic condition. Really good condition, that disc. Um, yeah, Wario Land and the Shake Dimension. Um, I think Smooth Moves is the other one uh, on the Wii for the Wario Land uh, series. So yeah, I already have it. I'll be moving that one on. I might put that one on Vintage because the disc is in such good condition, but 99 pence. Bargain. I've got three more in here. What we got? <laughs> There's another one. Sorry. Just Dance, 99 pence. That one you definitely get a loss on. Don't know why I picked that up. I think I was too excited at the time. I was just grabbing anything for 99p and just getting out the door as quick as I could before they changed their minds. And then what we got? We've got two more. Oh, I've got two good ones to end on. Wii Sports Resort, 99 pence. Absolutely fantastic. Great condition. I obviously have this. We've picked this up so many times, but you get a good return on that one. So that one will be going. And the last one, probably the last one, probably one of the better ones for last, which worked out nicely, 99p for Mario Kart on the Wii. God knows how many times we've picked it up. It's a great game to pick up. It's a proper staple for anyone that's looking to trade in at CEX and get some voucher. But uh, Mario Kart Wii, great condition, this one. Absolutely lovely. The booklets all there, the discs in great condition. Mario Karts are on the Wii are often quite heavily scratched. Um, so to have one in good condition is quite a bonus. So that's it. That is it. So all of these, there is a lot of Wii. It looks like someone's traded in a Wii collection at some point in time. Someone stuck a load of 99p stickers and it looks like a load of others got caught up in there, um, which is fantastic for us. And I was in the right place at the right time to pick them up. So got to get these all for free. I'm going to pick out the ones that I need, especially the Just Dances, see what I want. And then all the rest we're going to hopefully turn into a voucher. So I'm going to do that thing. I'm going to go to CX and I'll be back in a minute. I am back from CEX. I've been back quite a while to be honest. It's actually about half 10 at night right now. I never film at night, but it's so hot at the moment in the day, I can't come up into this attic for longer than three minutes without dying. So we're doing this a bit later at night. So I came back from CEX a little while ago. Let's do what we do. Let's start by taking away everything what you just saw cost us. It cost us £18.79. So let's take £18.79. That's what we spent in cash converters. That's what we need to get back to make this free. How did we get it back? Well, we used Vinted quite well this week. So Mario Kart, we sold that on Vinted for £8. And Wario Land, the shake dimension, we sold that for £7 on Vinted. So 8 and 7 we got £15 back 
from just two games on Vinted, which is fantastic. Did that before I went to CX. So when I was in CX, I just traded in one game for cash, and that was The Sims 3, and they gave us five pounds for that. 15 and five, we got 20 pound cash back this week, which is fantastic, that's six, 20 pounds all there. So we spent 18 odd quid, we got 20 pound back from the same games that we spent that 18 pounds on, it's free. Fantastic, that's how it works. Voucher, got plenty of that. Just so, by the way, this receipt is absolutely massive. The reason is I took a load of old DVDs in for my mother-in-law, and um, so I'm just bothered, just bothered about the orange ones. I don't think, well, oh my God, how big's that receipt? That's why. So voucher, what did we do? So Just Dance 2015, five pounds. So that's pretty decent. Just Dance, just Just Dance, forty pence. So not a big difference there. Um, Sonic and the Secret Rings, one pound sixty. Just Dance Two, one pound sixty. Uh, just Dance Three. £1.60, a uh, couple of £1.60s there. Uh, Wii Sports, normal DVD case, £9. That's a big jump up from the cardboard version. Just that's 2014, £3. You can see that, see that big jump as they as they start to get the, the older copies of Just Dance. Elder Scrolls, £3. Red Dead Redemption, £5 for the 360 version of Red Dead Redemption. That, that's the 360 games are really going up at the minute, which is it's great for us, but yeah, really bumping up the price of uh, of 360 games. Wii Sports normal DVD case, another nine pounds. Wii Sports resort, six pounds, a little bit less for that. And PSP Origins Wolverine was two pounds. So on a voucher, we got 47 pounds 20. So stick 47 pounds 20, which I, I think is great. Got our money back, made it made literally a couple quid, which is fantastic. And just shy 50 quid on a voucher from a trip to cash converters. Fantastic, really happy with that. And I've kept some stuff, because obviously I have. What have I kept? Well, I decided to keep hold of Spyro the Eternal Knight. Turns out I don't have this on Xbox 360, because I don't actually think you can even get it on Xbox 360. You can get it on PS2. Um, so I thought, you know what? You don't get too much for it. It's a Spyro game. I don't think I have a Spyro game at all uh, for the Wii, so I thought, I'll keep hold of that. Why not? I'll, I'll keep hold of that. Me lad like, like playing that later down the line. The Wii games, the four, sorry, the Just Dance games on the Wii, I did indeed need a few of them, and they kind of nicely went up in order, the ones I needed. So Just Dance 2016, needed that one, so I've kept hold of that one. Just Dance 2017, needed that one, so I've got that one as well. And indeed, the one with the panda on it, Just Dance 2018. So the, these ones, they're quite pricey, these games. It, it, it's surprising how pricey the Just Dance games can get. I think the last one is uh, Just Dance 2020, by the way, and I think they won like 20 quid for that in CEX. So they really bump up the price as you go up. But 16, 17, and 18 Just Dance, fantastic. Add those to collection. We will get a full Just Dance collection eventually if we keep going. This one's really great to keep hold of, We Party. So yeah, I've been trying to get hold of this for ages. Again, like 20 quid in CEX for this. Um, it, it's not that, I mean, I've obviously never got hold of it in the past, otherwise I wouldn't be adding it now, but I don't feel like it's the hardest game to get hold of out and about. So for 20 pounds, I think people get We Party confused with We Play as well, which is obviously significantly cheaper. Um, but We Party, finally adding that to the, the Wii collection, which is absolutely fantastic. Really chuffed with that. And Sonic and the Black Knight. I knew I was keeping hold of this one. Don't have this one in the collection. I've had a little look at it. It seems to be based around King Arthur and things. He seems to always have a sword in his hand, um, which is, is different, I believe, for Sonic. So I'll definitely be keeping hold of that one. So this week, I've kept hold of a couple Wii games, some nice Wii games to be added to my Wii collection, which is brilliant. I've got, got those for free and I've got £47 a free voucher, which I don't think is too bad thinking to get hold of that. I've walked into a cash converters, spent what 12 minutes in there just picking these games up, gone to the till, gave them the 18 odd quid, and we've managed to turn that into some free games. Nearly 50 quid a voucher. I think that's a great trip to cash converters. Now, obviously, I, I like I mentioned, I know all cash converters are different, some just do not do offers whatsoever. They're quite overly priced. But I do suggest if you have a cash converters in your area, it's worth popping in every now and then and just see if you can get any bargains. And if you go in once and there's nothing, that doesn't necessarily mean there's not going to be anything another day. So it's always worth popping your head in when you can. But just, just a bit of advice from me. So thank you very, very, very much for watching. Take care of yourselves.